Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for a look at the Aviator Pilot Goggles. These are manufactured by Léon Jantet and made in France, but they were produced in conjunction with British helmet manufacturers Davida. Now, Davida are the last remaining British helmet manufacturer and they specialise in top-end, custom-made, retro-styled open-face helmets. And the reason they wanted to produce this collaboration with Léon Jantet was to produce a goggle that works seamlessly with a retro open-face helmet. Now, not a lot of people realise till you actually get them and start trying them that the vast majority of what we call retro, sort of vintage motorcycle goggles are actually really designed more as kind of dress up. They, they tend not to be made with uh, the best materials and they also tend not to work too well when actually put around a helmet for reasons I will explain. So, as you can see here, these goggles are very shallow in their depth, which means that there's no interference from the shell uh, to the rim of the lenses. So what you often get with other goggles is a lens that is simply surrounded by the uh, padding. And that means there's obviously an extra width, an extra height dimension as well to the fit of the goggles. And what happens is you end up getting them pushed down from the shell and the lining uh, onto your nose, uh, which is obviously uncomfortable uh, and ruins the fit essentially. Now the other feature is that um, because these have um, a sort of inch and a half depth to them, um, that avoids the issue as well with the goggles sitting too far away from your face um, because of the depth that you get with the shells. So it sounds quite obvious, but um, it's amazing how few goggles take this kind of thing into consideration. Um, these ones are produced using the best materials. Uh, so we have a, a, a goat leather, um, which is the kind of padded back to the bit that sits around your face, which is very comfortable. Uh, you have 16 holes sort of plotted around the uh, periphery of the lenses which aids the kind of airflow and helps with the anti-fog properties so these are designed to really work well and fit well um, and look good so they are one of the more expensive goggles available but they're the ones that work i would say the best um, there are three goggles in the aviator pilot range there's t1 t2 and t3 and uh, the differences between them are kind of subtle. Essentially, T1 is the goggle to go for just as standard, unless you specifically need T2 or T3, which um, I'll go through in just one moment. Um, other consistent features in the range, you have this uh, nice sort of elastic strap, which has a very simple clasp mechanism for uh, securing the fit, and they're silicon backed as well. So whether or not you have a retaining clip at the bottom of the uh, rear of your shell doesn't matter, they'll stay in place either way. Um, so the T1s, uh, the standard option to go for which will fit virtually any motorcycle helmet and to be honest uh, if you if you if it doesn't fit then you're unlikely to find another goggle that does from a from a different range um, the uh, t2s are the ones i have here and essentially they are the exact same thing as the t1 but they're designed to accommodate glasses so if you can see there is a gap here on the uh, on the actual uh, foam backing, which enables you to fit the arms of your glasses without being interfered with. Um, and there's a little recess here around the nose as well. So, so the glasses can fit in there seamlessly, which is a nice feature, saves sort of hassle with uh, contacts and various other more complicated measures. And the T3s are really the same thing again. However, they are slightly more slim in their profile. So if for some reason you're struggling with the kind of size of the fit in relation to the uh, width of the shell, then you need to go down a size uh, to the T3s. They are slightly more kind of uh, narrow and shallow of depth as well. To be honest, this is one of the thinnest road legal open face helmets on the market. So um, you'll probably be bordering into the kind of real enthusiast, not quite road legal um, side of the helmet market if you can't fit with the T1s. Um, this is the gold rim and on both of the other ones, they were the chromed rim uh, with obviously the uh, black leather. There's a whole variety of different leather finishes and different rims available. You can also pop out the lenses. So they all ship with a clear lens and a nice little carry pouch, but you can change those out uh, as an extra for um, you know, various colors and uh, various kind of uh, tints as well. So a beautiful goggle. Um, we're sure that there are gonna be some questions that we haven't addressed about them uh, in terms of fit or, or whatever or compatibility. So please leave us your comments, questions, and most of all your feedback on what you think of the goggles. Uh, and um, we will endeavor to get back to you in the comments section. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will be sending the reviews of the best products from around the uh, motorcycle world as they come out. And we will hopefully see you for our next video review. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.